Hey guys, what's up? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the Dragon Ball, Street Fighter, and Pokemon figures that were shown by Tamashi Nations recently at their Tamashi Nations 2016 show. Now, some of these figures we have seen before, but I wanna talk about them anyway, because I haven't really had a chance to talk about them yet, but some of these are brand new, so it's very exciting, almost exci as exciting as seeing the giant size Goku figure on display right there in the front. It's pretty cool looking. So the first one we have is TN, which is a figure we've needed for forever basically, and they're finally showing it at least. It's still listed as display only, but they all were at one point, so it is likely that it will get made. It does look very good. I'm a little bit worried about the knees. I'm hoping they change those a little bit, but otherwise, I'm very pleased with what I see so far. The crotch area is a little questionable, but I think it's gonna end up at least good enough that it's gonna satisfy the need we've had for so long. The same thing can be said for Yamcha. It looks like he might have the exact same knees. I don't know, uh, but at least it's the same style, and I don't think that's a good thing. As you can see specifically on his left leg, the one on the right of your screen, it looks a little blocky, a little clunky, so I'm not so sure about that. I am very happy to finally have a Yamcha, and I'm most definitely gonna buy it no matter what, but I would like to see some really nice knees out of these figures, and what I'm seeing right here, it's just not great, so hopefully they adjust that a little bit. Now here's something I'm very excited about, and that is Nappa and a brand new Scouter Vegeta. Vegeta looks really nice, but Nappa is the big deal here. We've seen a Nappa before, it never came to be. They said if Broly did well, maybe Nappa would happen. It didn't happen so far. Uh, that was the Nappa without all of his armor, and people always said is since they showed that one that they wanted Nappa with the armor, so we're finally getting to see one here, and that's very exciting. Before we talk about Nappa anymore though, I want to talk about Vegeta. And this Vegeta features many of the same parts that we've seen on the newer Vegetas, or at least the new stylings. Not necessarily the same parts, but as you can see the shoulders are brand new, he's definitely got the bulkier look for the shoulders. Maybe a little squattier, a little thicker, which is perfect for Vegeta, that's good to see. Uh, hopefully they can work out their shins and their calves, because so far those have been pretty miss when it comes to the sculpt work. But this guy looks fantastic and it'll be a nice way to get a new Scouter Vegeta that doesn't have loose hips and some of the issues that the old one had. Nappa, like I said, looks fantastic. He's going to be one of those figures that's a must-have. He's going to be huge, first of all. Lots of thickness, lots of plastic to spend your money on, so I'm very excited about that. And they've shown us that they're able to put out quality large figures. We got 16, which wasn't that big, but then we got Broly, which was phenomenal. So it'll be nice to see a Saiyan, specifically Nappa, in the same vein as Broly. A little bit more normal proportions should make this guy even better than and the Broly, which was already really good. Then we got to see Gotenks, which is really exciting because he's all new, and he's a character that we haven't had any good figures of basically in forever. Now, we don't know much about this figure. He could come with alternate heads. Sometimes Tamashi Nations is a little weird about including alternate heads or not, so it's really up in the air. And these are all listed as display only so far, so we have no information at all other than we're seeing these here. So it's kind of curious, we'll see how it goes, but so far it looks really good. I really couldn't say anything needs to be changed on it. Uh, and they did have the little ghosts on display, but then again, like I said, they've had Shenron and other things on display before that never came to be, at least not yet. So will these be accessories? Are they just for display? We don't really know. Uh, hopefully all of these things that they're showing end up becoming things we can buy, because I know we would all throw our money at them for these things, so it'll be very exciting to see how this pans out. Now the next thing I want to talk about is something that's long overdue, and that is a new Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Some people love it, some people hate it, but the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is a very iconic look for Goku, so we really needed a good figure of that. And so far the one we have just isn't great. This one has a lot of new sculpt work, and I'm very excited to see it. The only thing that worries me on this guy is if the hair is going to be solid, it's going to be way too heavy again just like the last one, and the face is a little weird, the eyes are a little bit too big, and the cheekbones a little questionable. So I'd like to see how they could change that to tweak it a bit, but it looks very good so far, as does the Kaioken Goku. Now if you can't tell, it looks like it's basically the same Goku with a little bit of decoration differences, so uh, is it something we're going to need to have? I don't know, but a Kaioken Goku would be a very nice addition to the collection, be very welcome, but the fact that it's on that old body mold is very 
uh, displeasing to me. I guess that's a good way of putting it. I don't care to see that body mold anymore. But if they make it, I'm gonna buy it because I like me some Kaioken Goku. And to go with the Kaioken Goku, they also showed all of these display pieces which do light up. Now, we don't know, again, if these are ever going to hit retail or not, but we do have the aura effects and some Kamehameha effects that light up. Did you hear me? They light up. That's awesome. That's incredibly cool. If it happens, if they're only display pieces, then it really doesn't matter. I don't care how good they look on display. I want them to look that good on display for me. So hopefully they end up releasing those. It'll be really cool to see that. Now let's turn the page over and let's look at the Street Fighter figures. When we saw them first at New York Comic Con, it was unclear as to whether or not there would be Street Fighter V. I I'm still not sold on it being Street Fighter V Ryu based on his face, but he does have the dirty gi, so... I guess they're going Street Fighter V for him, which means they're probably going Street Fighter V for everybody. I'm very excited to see more Street Fighter figures coming out that are going to be coming from a high quality company, so uh, I guess we'll just have to see how they go. We have the Storm Collectibles coming out soon, and now these guys are starting to show up. And there's Chun-Li. Again, it's not easy to decide where she falls in line of which game she's from, but she looks really good nonetheless. Maybe the best Chun-Li figure ever. I don't know, but it's definitely there, the potential. So I'm very excited to see where these go the paint jobs look good it looks like they're gonna be able to pose as much as we can pose them so that's a really good thing and they're very clean sculpts so I'm very pleased with what I'm seeing so far now the next thing definitely solidifies the idea that it's Street Fighter 5 this is a new character from Street Fighter 5 and I'm not really sure I'm sold on this guy like he shouldn't even exist as far as I'm concerned because Street Fighter 5 introduced a bunch of new characters and cut out a bunch of old ones and we need the classic ones. If you want to add new characters, fine, but let's keep the classic ones in there too. So the fact that we're getting a figure of a new guy and Sagat isn't even in the game yet just really, really irks me, but it looks like a cool figure nonetheless, so I guess that's a good thing. Now the next thing is Pokemon. Long overdue, we're finally getting an Ash Ketchum figure and it looks like it's really good I see I see some nice proportions and some nice sculpt work and lots of color it's gonna be fun as you can see he comes well presumably will come with a small Pikachu accessory uh, which will make the large horribly made robot Pikachu figure from uh, Tomashi Nations it will make it obsolete so we don't need that giant ugly Pikachu anymore this one will go nicely with Ash and it'll be a nice addition to the collection and you can't have Ash and Pikachu without Team Rocket so you get Jesse and James and Meowth and they all look really good uh, I don't know for sure if Meowth is gonna be super articulated but the other two will have the full range of articulation and they look like they came right out of the TV screen so I'm very happy about these I'm hoping all these things come out as nice as they look and they're not going to break the wallet too much, but I'm very happy about all of these figures that they showed so far. So uh, I'm just super pumped. And I want to know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for all of these? Are there any you're not excited for? What are your favorite ones? Let's talk about it in the comment section below. It's always nice to see new figures on display and hopefully that they're going to actually come out. So let me know which ones you want definitely to come out first. And then we'll talk about your favorites and things like that. I like to talk to you guys in the comment section when we can. So this is a good time for that. So make sure you let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'm going to call it there. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.